As you can see, this gorgeous weather comes with a price. This isn't the only wildfire we've seen in Colorado over the past several months. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn joins us live. And Russell, at least one fire department is now taking this issue to voters. It wants more money for the fire season. Yeah, Molly, by this time of year, we're typically in the clear. In fact, this whole area could be covered in snow. Not the case this year, as you can see by this massive burn scar in Pradera. This fire happening just a few days ago. The fire danger is still very real and very costly. This wildfire in Parker scary. just three days ago coming perilously close to Brian Fruworth's home. As we drove closer and closer, I realized it was literally the hell behind our house. Firefighters say the extended danger this year is unprecedented. They're moving fast right now. We haven't had any kind of precipitation. People need to be a little more cautious on the fire danger. I mean, it is October, but it's still warm and very dry out. On this balmy fall Sunday, Elizabeth fire crews work to keep up aging equipment well past the traditional fire season. We don't have a fire season anymore. The fire comes uh, at any time of the year for us. Because of that, Elizabeth Fire for One is going to voters in three weeks this coming election day, asking for an extension of an existing tax for new fire trucks, ambulances, and other equipment. What we're going to be asking our voters to do is, is not raise taxes at all, but just allow us to continue that uh, that tax initiative. To Chief T.J. Steck says his crews responded to eight wildland fires last week alone. I believe every one of those fires was uh, threatening a home at some point. Homes are being built with into these wildland areas, and, and uh, it's getting much harder to fight the fires. As we speak, the Freeman fire continues to rage near Aspen. Homeowners like Fruworth grateful for firefighting efforts. I just want to commend the firefighters. They did a fantastic job. And in fact, down in Elizabeth tonight, there's a fire alert in effect until 9 o'clock this evening. And along much of the front range, there's a red flag warning or a high wind warning. We're live in Douglas County tonight. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. And